Today, let me present to you your ultimate soulmate. So we have three powers for you today, crystal souls. We have power number one, power number two, and power number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the card, and the one or the ones calling you will be the answer for you. And then when you are ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. If you guys want some personal guidance, enjoy, that is now for a lower price, and this is linked in the description. So let's relax together and breathe in. Hold your breath and breathe out, relax. And choose the one or the ones calling you. Let's start with palm number one and the jasper that you chose. So this can be talking about already true love, passion and stability and commitment in this relationship. So we have two cards. We have the six of swords and the four of wands. So the four of wands talks about soulmate actually. That's 11, 11 on the clock that you see. So if you put the ones, one, 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 one other, that's 11, 11 that you can see. So to me, that is a card representing marriage, so celebration. So if this is what you are wanting, to marry a future soulmate, to find the one for you, this is the direction I see the two of you taking. Now, because we have the Six of Swords, I see this as a transition card. Transition with your life, transition with the love that you want, knowing what you desire and actually moving away from any type of clutter, any type of wounds or from the past that did not really satisfy you. And this is good because this transition and moving towards something new is going to allow yourself to find your future soulmate. And what I see here is fulfillment, being provided enough, being loved, being seen and being appreciated especially. Because we have number four, I see stability in the relationship. And number six connects to the lovers in tarot. So that transition... Or this can be travel too, by the way. So if that's a long distance or if you feel guided to go somewhere, this can be a sign that your soulmate is waiting for you in another place, maybe even in another country. And if so, you're going to find this love, this passionate love with this person that is indeed special for your soul. I see this comforting energy from your soulmate because look at these lovebirds enjoying a picnic together. <laughs> could be a few to date, by the way. But definitely that comforting energy, like we enjoy the time that we spend together. It feels safe, it feels good. Even the tent for me is a symbol of home. So feeling indeed comfortable enough to feel at home with this person. With the bouquet, I see confession. So perhaps on that date, they will confess their feelings to you. And you might yourself open up, open up about how you feel towards them. But what you want and what this person wants as well is something deep and something that will not you know resonate with the past with the wounds or karma they want something fresh new and exciting and they're getting that with you so when you feel something special or something completely different is something that you feel with somebody that is going to be the sign for you so let's see <laughs> We talked about a date and this one is indeed showing up. Yes, you will start to date or they might invite you to go somewhere. Maybe they will not say, let's go on a date, but, you know, subtly doing activities with you and spending time with you is a way to date and start bonding this way. And the attraction is quite crazy. I mean, even the Jasper to me is a stone about attraction and magnetism so it is indeed connected you guys are going to be magnetized by each other just like two magnets like i cannot resist the pull the energy towards this person and they're going to be very attractive so anything that you like physically mentally emotionally spiritually you're going to get with the soulmate this is why do not settle for less because you're attracting everything that you want qualities values etc so be precise as well because you manifest actually the right match for you because we do have a lot of soulmates but i'm talking about the ultimate soulmate the one for you okay so this one is gonna be the most fitting person and i'm sure your karma or lessons and wounds will be mirrored in that relationship and with the full moon i see that this cycle karma and healing is being completed 
before encountering each other. That's why you can see that transition happening and then they are together here. And they start to date and they feel attraction because they can relate to each other. So when you see yourself in them, that is going to be a good sign. The date can be, of course, a picnic, going for a meal, going for a drink, a walk in the city, because I can see city here. Or they can be a city person. Let's see now some traits, who they are. And I'm going to see a lot of them, because this is going to be a very detailed portrait about your future soulmate for you guys. So anything this person is what we need to know. Someone cheerful. I love this card too because we have the universe, the planets all around. And we have the spyglass or telescope. I think that's a telescope. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm French, by the way, just in case uh, you don't know. And that's why I'm struggling sometimes. But what I see is that they might have their eyes on you. Possibly on social media, because I can see the phone and him listening to music. Music can be significant, so they can love to exchange music with you. Or they can be somebody who is a creator or an artist. But I see in the, the universe assisting the two of you to be together. And this person, especially if you've been through something quite challenging or not very pleasant, especially um, relationship related, they're going to be very cheerful and understanding with you. So you guys can be communicating or will start in the future, starting to communicate online through the phone. Could be why maybe some distance between the two of you near city or maybe another country. Doesn't have to be, but... It is showing up possibly for some of you. So cheerful. Let's see another one from this deck. And then we have a couple cards coming up. And Mr. <laughs> we just talked we just talked about the phone and communication and then it is showing up indeed with the telephone. Of course, I think of London with the phone booth here. But it could be a different place, okay? But this might be a sign for you that you will exchange through the phone, maybe on social media, or they will ask for your number if they meet you in the streets, for example. But they're going to be a bit mysterious, a bit reserved. Or well, they appear this way, because in the beginning, you don't know the person, you don't know how, to, how they react, how they respond, who they truly are. So we tend to interpret everything. But then we understand them because we get to know how they really feel and how they just act. So in the beginning, you might feel like I cannot understand this person. This person is very mysterious and I have to just trust the process because I have no clue how this person feels towards me. So you're going to get the answers along the way, so don't give up. But for sure, in the beginning, you might be clueless about how they truly feel towards you. Or clueless if this is really your soulmate. So let's see more hints with the couple cards. Home is our refuge. So you guys can love to stick together. Of course, you love to go in the city and have fun, even in nature, and plan things like that, like dates. But you will love just to stick together at home and do things that you love. Again, I see the computer, so I think of the internet or some exchange through the computer, if not the phone. Um, so for example, you can be working or collaborating or studying together. <laughs> and what's funny, I just said studying and we have the library showing up. So... We have an intellectual attraction and we had attraction before. So I'm telling you, when you meet this person, this is going to feel like an evidence. That is the one I want to be with. That is the one I see a future with. And I feel the pull and attraction towards this person. So they're going to be very charming and not just physically, okay? Their mind, the way they think, the way they express themselves is going to be so seductive for you or so... Yeah, so attractive, actually. That is something that you always wanted. And look at this. We have seduction at the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy for this deck. So yes, seduction is starting. And I'm sure you might feel that somebody is very, 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 very charming. And you just want to be with them. And so you guys start to be a bit more comfortable around each other and start to just flirt a bit more. So let's see traits from your person. Could be a star seed. 
or someone who is who shines brightly because we're so cheerful so again i think of somebody who has that inner light within them and they want to spread that light that positivity even here i can see sparks all around them look at that <laughs> here showing up so maybe that is indeed their spark their energy and this is kind of like um you know surrounding them or that can be about spirits actually guiding the two of you to find each other look at that i told you marriage celebration with the four of wands and this is showing up perfect spouse and i also did a reading just before this one so a few days ago connected to your future spouse so if you haven't watched this one do watch it because I think you might be receiving a lot, a lot of hints, a lot of guidance connected to this person and of course connected to your future together. So future spouse and someone who is blessed. With blessed, I think of someone talented as well. For example, they can be very talented with social media or just have that aura and presence online. Or they can be good at cooking, planning. They can be good at taking pictures because I can see pictures on the walls here. Or good with um, anything connected to the internet or uh, computers. Editing is what I think as well. What else? Blessed with gifts as well, talents, and very intellectual, very, very knowledgeable about things. And because we have a star seed, of course, spiritually, they're going to be blessed <laughs> and awakened. Trust me. So let's see a message. I mean, multiple messages. What you need to, what you need to know. Don't play with my feelings. Okay, they are going to be honest with you. But what they want is honesty back. Okay, they don't want anybody to be playing with their feelings or just playing distant or playing games. So let's see another message. But don't play with this person's feelings. And we have, my heart is racing when you are around. So they feel, they feel indeed deeply, like they feel the attraction towards you. They are starting to have feelings. We talked about this with the bouquet and you can see that here. Like, don't play with my feelings because I am falling in love with you and I care about you. So I don't want to feel miserable anymore because they felt that way before and they're running away from that. They're healing from that. So of course, they don't want to have a go back ticket. They just want to move along towards what feels amazing. And I'm sure you want the same thing too. So let's pick the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your, of your person. By the way, we add fire and air sign for these two kites. Let's see what is this person's zodiac sign. If not the zodiac, could be a season could be the moon sun or rising signs too. Okay, we have Cancer, we have Sagittarius, Aries and Pisces. Let me continue with letters and words so we can see a name, a place appearing, any type of hints you need to receive. I heard distance with DI. I see UK and that is quite funny because we saw with the booth actually the UK um the UK <laughs> I'm so sorry anyways uh we have go kiss have boy so masculine energy or maybe having a baby boy in the future if you want to have a family we have sport and we have uh yes Virgo and that that is a plus that is a plus for you guys, but explore, play with them. Let's pick some dice so we can get more hints about your person. Look at this, we have a king and you can see a transformation. All of them are talking about that transformation actually. So from the frog, hopefully you can see that, from the frog here, and you can see the frog transforming into the prince and we have the crown again so this is really showing me that your person is becoming a queen or a king and this transformation is what will make you actually attracted by this person because they have been through a lot but also they've been seen, seen as somebody that is not so important and now they are leveling up and you're going to see that transformation 
Let's see now. Some stickers. Yes, you're going to be in awe when meeting this person and very, very excited. I see the two of you working together and being excited to be together. This new story is starting to be written. You can see that with the hink, but you can see excitement for sure. And wanting to explore and spend time together with the Hara Glass. And with the rocket, I see you two actually reaching higher levels of love. So reaching unconditional love is what I see. And possibly being a bit shy or they can be a bit shy around you in the beginning, which could be a sign that they are interested. So that's the rating, guys. Make sure to claim this beautiful soulmate energy in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, of course. If you want some personal guidance, you can find it in the description. Check my other readings while you wait for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Group number two, let's start and see more hints about your YouTube mate soulmate. So first we have the nine of pentacles and the two of pentacles, a lot of earth energy. <laughs> but this can talk about somebody who is wanting to find balance and success in the future. And this is totally what I can see. The result of this person trusting themselves, even though it's a bit shaky, even though that is something that not everybody is very supportive of. For example, if they have big dreams, big goals, their parents can be against them. Their parents can be like, oh no, choose that that path or do that thing because this is gonna be easier for you. The thing is, this person is made for grand things. So they do not want to settle for less and choose a path that everybody can explore. So their job can be something that is very impressive or very unique and one of a kind, very original. They can be an artist, they can be someone who is on on the spotlight is what I can see because I see success, fame, I see somebody who is respected and blessed by life. So you can expect this type of status. I see someone rich, famous, successful or just very good with attracting money. Maybe good with businesses actually. But in the beginning, this was not the easiest thing for them to choose. So what this tells me is your future soulmate is going to have a background story that will be quite impressive and you'll be respectful of that because they come from a far background, let's say. For example, they started with zero, but they scaled that business or that project to millions or they will be in the future because they have a vision and they stick to it, even though, even though they do not have much support but they find support and create that support within themselves while trusting themselves and their projects and learning from these things to then create more stability and create that success in the long run. What I see with a cage is they do not want to be kept. They do not like any type of environments, any type of relationships that make them feel like a prisoner. So if somebody is too controlling here, if somebody is like, you are mine, you don't hang out with these friends, you never do these things, or you always stay with me, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to see imbalance in that relationship. I'm telling you that so we can work on this before meeting this person. If you are somebody who is very attached or needy or even controlling. And be honest with yourself, okay? Be honest with yourself. Am I really this type or do I have some traits like that? And why is that so? Most of the time it's because you used to be rejected maybe by your own parents, or they never had time for you. So now you're really trying to find somebody who can compensate. And the thing is, you need to compensate first yourself. So provide to yourself, spend time with yourself, and see then actually you becoming less needy, less demanding. So this can also be beneficial and create more harmony in relationships. I think this is what your soulmate is going to be teaching you if you don't do the work before, okay? And this can be a bit challenging, okay, for the two of you in the beginning. So this is showing up for a reason, but know that your person has enough to give. They are very, very valuable for you and they will have everything that you desire. This is why it's best for you to work on these traits if you do possess them, of course. And if you do that, this is gonna be a lot easier and enjoyable for the two of you. We have playfulness for the first couple guide. 
so playfulness and look i cannot make that up if this came out spirits are making things clear they're showing you confirmation so you understand i am not misinterpreting this energy <laughs> okay so we have let go of control if you want a relationship to work and i'm sure you've been tested with clowns before because they tested your ability to respond are you needy are you attached are you controlling or do you want to control everything even the way things manifest the timing the people no you need to let go and when you let go harmony is built this is what i shared on my channel on instagram by the way i'm just realizing that i shared the same message possibly two or three days ago. And by the way, you can follow me out there. I do some readings daily sometimes uh, or share messages and channel messages I receive for you guys. But yes, what I see is that letting go of control will bring so much balance, structure, harmony and peace, especially in this relationship. And you guys will have fun with each other. So this soulmate you are attracting is going to bring you liberation, first of all, coming out of this cage, not being attached, not being needy, being in your power, understanding your values, un understanding who you truly are and what you're capable to offer. And that will be respected, that will be celebrated. Let's see now some traits from your person. We have playful. We have somebody successful, very good with businesses or very good with their vision, their dreams. And they believe in themselves. So I see confidence. I see a person respect themselves. Like they know where they're coming from, why they started everything. And that is very benef beneficial for them to find more grounding in their reality and in what they do so pleasing and i see somebody who is very gifted as well or perhaps the gift can talk about christmas christmas season can be when you meet your future soulmate but you're going to be pleased to be meeting this person to have this person in your life and with the stars i see that this destiny is going to be pleasant for you like that is something you wanted all along or the type of person they're going to be is going to be exactly what she was looking for so let's see another trait and they can gift you a lot of things i see generosity as well because they have so much and materially i see they are blessed and so they will want as well to gift you a lot of things or buy you everything that you want and you could see the way she is dressed screams luxury screams abundance which is a good sign to me so of course they will want to gift you all these things if that is something you value if not luxury it could be going for uh, a trip because i see the, the the boats the waves as like travel or motion if not could be a fancy dinner anything like that oh and by the way for the numbers we have number nine and we have number two. So number two talks about unity, coming together. And number nine talks about perfection. So they can be a bit of a perfectionist as well. They are looking for perfection. I mean, that is your ultimate soulmate. So you two are perfect for each other. Fun fact. <laughs> now, this is at the nine minute I'm recording. So number nine again. So let's see and satisfied ah oh, this is beautiful because you two will just feel peaceful satisfied and happy and blessed even to have this person in your life so satisfaction is what you can expect we have 21 could be significant maybe a number that you see a date uh so maybe the 21 of november 21 of december because i see december here too could be significant or beyond it this can be their age, could be something that you see. Number two, to give us number one, new beginning. Uh, we have a tea party going on. <laughs> you know, the, the mug, the sugar, all that. Yes, I just see this will be pleasing to be spending time with them. You're going to be satisfied after having a first date with them. You know, because the first date, I think, really describes or set up the, um, the energy, let's say, or the... the synergy between you and somebody like you know if you want to have a second date with them so there's this is going to be showing up this way for the two of you too let's see 
couple cards. We have way, way, way too much. So let me shuffle again. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Now this makes sense. Why they are very picky. I mean, very picky. They know what they want. Okay. So they want perfection. They want somebody who is indeed fitting because they want to find their future spouse. They don't want to just find somebody they play with or just have a little story with. That is, I mean, that is a soulmate you're attracting here. So, of course, they will vibe with you and they will see further with you. They will have projects with you. And their project is to marry you. You can see the proposal on this card. And again, we have the chimney in the background. I do believe this might come around this type of cold season or any type of cold season depends who is watching here and where you're coming from. But winter <laughs> could be the time. My, I cannot make that up. And I swear these cards are very, very different. Look, <laughs> they are not just about marriage, okay? Not at all. So I'm telling you, if this is showing up, it is for a reason. And if you haven't watched my last reading, which is a spouse reading, I think you can get a lot more information about who this person is and your future marriage together. But we are seeing a proposal and you will say yes, because we have the honeymoon. And fun fact, I remember on the spouse reading, I talked about in one pile about honeymoon. So yes, I think that is Indeed, showing up for reasons, <laughs> but you are about to find somebody, your soulmate, who you're going to marry, who you're going to be building with forever, in my opinion, because, you know, when you marry somebody, you can see a forever story with them. And I think this is why you feel satisfied. This is why you feel like I'm being gifted this person and I'm blessed. I'm super excited and happy because this is all that I was looking for. All that I value, especially. You can see that. Let's see some traits. Somebody friendly. Let's see one more. Perfect. We have lucky. They can bring luck as well in your life. Signs you can see before meeting this person can be rabbits as well. Um, we have rabbits. I see roses, rings, stars, gifts. I mean, that's holidays. I mean, the holiday season is coming up very soon. So you might be seeing a lot of gifts, but some might be specific and special. And then... I see phones, um, like these two are on the phone. So perhaps it's a connection that will start on the phone or this can be a sign that you guys might receive some signs on the phone. And anything that you've been seeing or anything that connects to a certain symbolism related to soulmates. Could be the infinite sign, could be um, 222, for example, this is about union coming together or 888. You get the point, but you are going to find luck with this person or will feel truly lucky to have this person, but they will themselves be somebody who is blessed and lucky and very friendly. They might have a lot of friends too or just have their soul tribe around them. And this will feel magical too, because their friends might be people that do inspire you too, or you just have a connection with them too. So that will feel like family to be around them. Let's see now what they want to say to you. The sight of you makes me smile. That's so beautiful. And you can see this person smiling here. And you are mesmerizing. Oh, it's so beautiful. So let me show you these two messages and I will continue next with the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. But so far we have earth energy. Let's see, if not the zodiac sign, of course this can, okay, this can be the season when being together or moon, sun and rising signs too. Okay, so this can be potentially all these. So we have Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Leo, Libra, and Scorpio. I was about, is this, I don't know. I had a little blockage in my brain. <laughs> Let's pick now some dice. 
so we can see more hints for you guys. Okay, we have a peaceful relationship and you could see that they want peace, they want stability, they do not want to be in controlling relationships or dynamics and possibly one of you have this pirate energy, the conqueror, I want to find my treasure, I want to find my perfect person. I think that's really the code here. So they're, they're not going to be afraid to conquer you, to be connected to you and to get to know you or just to make a move on you. Let's see now letters and words. So here you can see perhaps a name appearing, a place, a word. Let's see what comes out. Dia. So that's day in Portuguese. I see John. Don Juan is what I thought as well. Uh, Don Juan, it's showing up. So yes, they will have indeed, <laughs> they will have indeed this like seductive conqueror. Don Juan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm so sorry. Don Juan in French, uh, but it might be something similar. So wish, dream and go. I see uno, so one, the one, I think, can be the sign. Or one day, because we saw that too. I think of January as well, Jan, or maybe December. We oui is yes. And fun fact, in French, I mean in France, when we get married to somebody, we say yes to that person. So that's we. Oui. So I think that is a sign here related to the fact that you will say yes to this person. Uh, I think of Donut as well. But that's... Oh, I see Australia too. So it could be a place. But play with them. You can see something specific. ID could be that you know this person's identity as well. Let's see some stickers for group number two. Let's see some hints about this person. Right, so let me pick this one which popped first. Gotta go! <laughs> Gotta go! <laughs> Ow! All right, so what I see is that they might ask themselves how to seduce you, how to be around you. What I see as well is that they might play like I'm not so available to you in the beginning, like oh, I gotta go, I gotta do things. Possibly because, yes, they are busy, but at the same time, they want to observe how you respond to the distance. If you're okay with that, or if you're like, oh, I wish you could stay, you know? So they just test the water, pretty much. This can be a connection online, computer, or they can be good with computers. Um, could be creation with content, could be something related to a business online, anything like that. And we have, sorry, so... Like I said, I do see that you guys will break a lot of karma in the beginning of that relationship and saying sorry will be very healing for the two of you. But I see you guys being observing each other and possibly wanting to make a move. But this person may ask themselves, how do I do that? How do I connect with you? How do I get your attention? So that's the reading, guys. Make sure to claim this energy down below from your soulmate. If you want some personal guidance, you can check it out down below. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Check my other readings while you wait for me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Group number three. Let's start and see more hints about your ultimate soulmate. So, I love this because we're starting with the two of cups. And then we have the three of pentacles. The two of cups is really that representation of you finding the right match. Finding the love that you wanted. And you can see they're just enjoying their dates near the pool, drinking champagne. And here you can see that sense of support, collaboration. I want this relationship to work and I'm going to put the work work into that. I have a vision for us, a vision for my success as well. This is what I see from your person. There might be somebody who is very good at building businesses or just bringing stability in relationships. So 
with this one, I see you two falling in love right away. You may even be like, oh, I'm going crazy. Like, why am I falling in love so fast? Why is this person so attractive? I don't get it. That is because your souls know this person. Your soul knows that you are actually compatible and you guys are meant to be together. So that's why you might feel like I'm going crazy or I'm crazy over this person. And this is why you guys click, you guys work together for a reason. And this person is going to feel the same way. That's why you need to let things go the way they're supposed to go the pace, the velocity of things. Just let it be. Enjoy, okay? Spirits are telling you, do not question everything. Do not question that relationship or question this person all the time. This is not going to make that vision manifest if you do so. Remember, and you can see, the drawing and the creation. The drawing, that is your projection of the mind that you start to create. That is what I see possible and then what you see can be built so that is a code if you want this that starts in your head to then manifest physically with this person you need to allow this to grow number three number two togetherness union so let this relationship bloom let it grow naturally don't control it let it be just Picture the best happening, know this is possible, know you're meant to be with this person, so that will manifest and this will start to show, this will start to be built. But if you always question things, always resist, always uh, overthink everything around uh, somebody or around love, then guess what? You create even more blockages or delay things actually. So that is pretty much showing you love is coming, let it be because this love is pure, beautiful and that love is something you never possibly experience because it will feel peaceful. It will feel indeed like finding somebody that is your best friend or that feels like home especially. So let's see some hints with the couple cards. <laughs> Yes, I mean, we are doing a soulmate reading, so that is indeed a past life relationship. So if you don't believe in past life and you're watching a soulmate reading, <laughs> you're possibly not in the, in the right place. But that is showing up that you guys have met in other lifetimes and you guys are magnetized by each other in this lifetime as well. And that is because this soulmate is special. And I'm sure you have been in uh, relationships with this soulmate specifically because you felt at home with them and a soulmate is i see some people mixing twin flame and soulmates they're not the same connections a soulmate is somebody another soul that you've met in other lifetimes okay a twin flame is you split it into two souls or two bodies or etc but that is the same source that's why I'm connecting my hands. It's kind of like we are one, but then we split it into different bodies. Divine masculine, divine feminine, most of the time. I do see some other dynamics with souls that have multiple, actually, incarnations. They're not twin flames. We don't have a title or I don't know the title, but that exists and I've seen that. But what you have here is a soulmate, so two different souls bonding with each other, working well together. That is different. So you have a past life record, to not say multiple past lives together. And this is why you feel the attraction. This is why you feel at home. Or when meeting this person, it feels like you have met this person before, even if you haven't. That is because you have been, but in other forms of incarnation. Maybe past life memories will show up because of that. Um, I'm sure it will show up because you are being prepared to understand why you are presented this person or why you felt actually this attraction towards this specific soulmate. Because maybe your past story together is something that was very intense and profound to you. We have a bold move. So when meeting and I'm seeing the men especially, or masculine energy, going to be making that bold move, making sure that you know, I am interested and I want you. 
no, I don't know. I don't want to lose this opportunity to be with you because I see that we are each other's perfect match and we bring so much love to each other. So I want this, you know, past that we had in other lifetimes to be happening in this lifetime too. So that's why you can expect this person to possibly take the lead in that relationship and make a move towards you because they are fully interested to be with you and to make it work long term. So let's see traits and qualities from your person. Who they are as a person, anything you need to know to recognize them. But so far, I see someone who is hardworking, who is very loving, who is connected to their spirituality. And they, I'm sure they are going to feel that connection with you. And we have somebody humble. We have a lot of stars. <laughs> so destiny is indeed playing part. The stars can be representation of success. And we saw the stars in the pentacles too. Let's see. And with the umbrella, this one is closed, but to me, the umbrella is a sign of protection. So feeling safe with the person. And this one is running. <laughs> so I'm not seeing you waiting too long for this person. I even think some of you know who that soulmate is. And you might just come for a confirmation. You may just want to know, okay, is that person on my mind really my soulmate? And if you see that clicks, the personality, the persona I can see here. If that clicks, this might be a sign. But someone protective and someone who is hurrying to be with you. Like, I just want to find you. I want us to be together. And possibly they're tired of, you know, dating people, not having much of a connection. They want something that is going to move them, that is going to challenge their thoughts or doubts or limitations that they created around love and positive that is nice so humble and positive we have cats could be significant for me the cat represents again protection <laughs> and they represent the introverted side of people or they just a bit more cautious with who they welcome like can i trust you really can i feel safe around you so they might be like that cautious with relationships but with you they're going to feel a positive energy with the the paper plan i think of messages being sent and maybe the paper plan might be a sign that you see i actually when you send a message on instagram i think that's kind of like a one arrow this reminds me of the airplane it could be any type of other uh, platforms with messages you know but you get the point i see exchanges that are positive and you're going to feel that connection right away when you guys start to talk to each other rather it's talking online or talking face to face and with these two just resting this is going to feel like that when you meet your person not shaky not something that uh, makes you question everything or just makes you question all that they say no this is this is not this is not going to feel this way confirmation i knew you were my soulmate that is not just a card saying soulmate that is a card telling you i knew you were my soulmate that's because you're going to feel that the two of you you're going to know for certainty, that is my soulmate, or that feels like one soulmate, because the, the connection is crazy, the synergy, you two clicking, vibing, feeling at home, feeling safe, feeling positive, being inspired by the person, and really seeing your vision manifest with them, yes, so I knew you were my soulmate, you will know, and they will know, not just one of you, the two of you will feel that is a soulmate connection. That's somebody I was meant to be with and I was waiting for all along. So confirmation. <laughs> Let's continue. All right. We have reunion. I'll take the one faced up. So not too many cards. So reunion with a soulmate. Yes, I mean, this is what this fitting was talking about. But I always love to get confirmation that you guys are meant to reunite with this past life lover, which is a soulmate. So confirming to you that you possibly feel guided towards this pile because you are meant to be together. And if you've met somebody and you reunited with them or you feel like I've known this person before or it feels like it because 
I don't know, the sense of familiarity is going to be there. Yes, now you know why. Now you know why this was happening. So it's see more traits from your person. Emotionally available. They might have this personality or just this glow that is quite like a mermaid, mermaid type of look. You know, mermaids are very charismatic, very seducing and like very attractive. And I'm sure when looking at this person, it will feel like dating a merman or mermaid because you might feel attracted by their legendary beauty, you see? Or something that, like their beauty is going to be out of this world, kind of. But they are emotionally available to be starting that beautiful relationship. They will feel comfortable to be around. Even emotionally, you might feel supported, understood, and like you are in that bubble of protection. And we saw so many protective, protector signs. An introvert, I was, I was right, with the cats. I know cats are more like, I need to trust you. And if I feel safe, I will stick with you or I will run. <laughs> so yes, they're like that. And I'm sure this person may just be like cats a little bit. They want somebody they can feel safe to be around. And they might be a bit more introverted. But when around you and when trusting you, they're not going to show that introverted side. This is just in the beginning. Or they might just be a bit more shy than people. I mean, than... than extroverted people at least <laughs> let's see messages anything they want to say to you won't you regret if i go i'm not a toy what is happening and i'm afraid you may reject me a lot of insecurities is what i can see here i'm afraid you may reject me i'm not a toy so please respect me and don't play with my feelings and if you do won't you regret if i go because they will not they will not stick they will not stay if they do not have this safety feeling i told you they have this cat energy even though they don't believe it they may feel like no i'm a dog person or whatever they might deep down just want to be emotionally safe they want to be respected they do not like people to play with their feelings or play with them and with these two faced like back, backward, it's like they're not afraid to let go of people or relationships that really do not bring them safety or bring them excitement and positivity because this is what they're looking for. They're very positive too. And if somebody is always negative or always um, blaming people, blaming circumstances and not really seeing that sometimes there are the people actually manifesting these things or being responsible for that energy or dynamics, they will be like, I'm not wanting to be with these people. Like they need to face their shh. They need to face themselves before they can be actually grateful and positive and happy to have somebody around. So this person is mature. And I'm sure you are too. That's why you was guided towards this specific soulmate. But they might talk about relationships from the past, friendships included or people around them that used to be quite disappointing for them and they will tell you i've been played with i have been rejected before and i have been in relationships i don't regret but in them i was just feeling unappreciated and not really seeing not really seen or not being valued and this was quite difficult just so you know so this is why they're a bit cautious now let's see now some letters and words so we can see a name a place Anything you need to know about the person. Okay, so... I see date. So a date is what you can expect. We have eat. So maybe eating for the date. We have went through friend. Maybe meeting through a friend. Maybe friend group. We have ever sport kiss. Mm, I think of a Jedi for some reason. Or this can be in French, jeudi, which is Friday. So maybe on Friday something might be happening. Dej. 
maybe at lunch you guys can be meeting because déjeuner in French is actually the time when you eat at lunch. So maybe maybe that's a sign because we can see when, eat, date, lunch, jeudi, <laughs> so um, Friday. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a sign here, all right? But explore something can pop to you that is personal. Let's pick next the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far we had water and earth signs. Uh, not this one. That will come after. Not this one. She, my, yo, what's happening? <laughs> okay, so let's see. The signs. But we had Pisces. We have Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Virgo. Oh, uh, Leo, I meant. But Libra is showing up too. Let's see now some dice. So anything about your person. All right. I see they do want a loving relationship. They are in with you. They want to be starting that beautiful connection with you. There will be somebody who is very blessed with money, abundance, or just success in general. But you can see this person as valuable too. What I see is that they might have indeed you know, past relationships, um, you know, past person <laughs> that used to be like that monster. And so they just want to have a path that is going to lead them towards happiness. I'm saying this because the trees, hopefully you can see that, the trees are smiling. And this could be actually representative of you guys taking this happy path and having this happy, bright, positive future together. Even the sun itself at the distance shows that. So let me pick next the stickers. Let's see more about the two of you. And about your soulmate. Good things take time, so maybe some delay before meeting this person or taking your time in this relationship is key to make it last. Always miss you with the stamp. They can be messaging you or contacting you because I see some exchange and they miss you a lot. They might be thinking or planning to connect with you in a way that will make that relationship successful. They can be very playful with you. Car wash. Maybe the car can be significant or maybe driving to your place, uh, or they can be talking about, oh, I need to wash my car to you. <laughs> and here we can see the rose. The rose can be something they buy to you, or that can be a symbol representative of romance and love. We have bling bling. I do think, because we saw somebody blessed materially, they can be somebody who likes beautiful, luxurious car, or they will love to have brands, luxury items, or just fashion. And for the message, don't hate your enemy or you will have, or you will make, sorry, the wrong judgment. Could be their advice so that's the reading guys i hope you liked it if you do give it a big thumbs up claim this energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new of course join the family and if you want some personal guidance you can find everything linked down below check my other readings while you wait for me and i will see you guys next time